hey guys, bring it over, gather around, um, come on in and uh, grab a seat. Actually, just, just stay standing and, and try not to touch anything uh, unless you're sure your tetanus shots are up to date. Heads up, guys. You, nothing, No shame here. You guys played a Premier League club even for 85 minutes, and there's no shame in that. You should be only proud of yourselves. I'm super proud of everything that you've be done, and we got a long way to go, but we're making progress, so just keep your heads up, okay? Don't let this shake you. So what I want you to do is just take a shower, uh, not here, at home, and then we'll come back at it tomorrow, and we'll get back at it. Every day we get a step better. Good work today. The Newcastle match, FA Cup fourth round, we almost had them. And if you're new to the series, we're trying to take uh, Nuneaton Borough from the bottom of British football to the top. We're in our fourth season, Skybet League 2, our first professional season, one of the lowest budgets in the league, trying to a scrappy team who we've actually done. We'll take a look at the results on the table in a moment. But we're, we're doing pretty well now in the second half. So things are getting really interesting. We have a big match today against Rochdale. And if we could win it, our playoff fortunes could take, and our promotion fortunes could take a big step forward. But we'll explain more about that later. But anyway, as a team in League Two, we have no business having anything to do with coming close to being Newcastle, beating Newcastle. But we almost got it. 85th minute, they hit a boomer to beat us one to nothing. We actually hit the post in the second half, and it bounced straight back. Not like a post and bounces wide. Bounced straight back in front of the goalkeeper, and they cleared it away. So we almost took the lead in the second half. And if you look at the stats here, 10 shots to 9 shots, 5 shots to 4. We outpossessed them 60% to 40%. So almost the classic David beats Goliath. But in the end, Goliath crushed us. And we'll have to wait another day. I'm sure in their defense, they're playing most of their second string and Third string players here, third team players. I'm Joel Linton's name I, I recognize, but I think most of these guys are probably their backups or scrubs or something like that. But we did give them a scare. We, we gave them a little bit of a scare there, which was fun. And it was our biggest attendance ever. We had over 6,000. Every seat was sold out. Crazy atmosphere. We racked in about 130,000 pounds from it, which greatly helped kind of rejuvenate our finances a little bit here as well. Uh, but a lot of things to talk about. We'll have a big match coming up soon. I want to share some results. We'll take a look at the table. I'd like to take a look at some signings. And we want to talk about Adams Phillips and his injuries because that's a story in its own right. And then we'll dig right into our match of the month. So let's keep this moving along here. Our schedule. So after our 2 to nothing thrashing via the hands of Tranmere, uh, we came back against Port Vale. We're up one to nothing late. They score in the 83rd minute to tie it. And then Hannes Delcroy, our defensive midfielder, has not scored a goal all year, comes up in the 92nd minute. And this is worth watching. Normally, we don't look at highlights, but I wanted to show you this one because we need every point we can get. George breaks down on the left-hand side, chips in across Delcroy. Boomer of a volley, top right corner, and we pick up all, we hang on and pick up all three points there. So that was a super fun match. We got that. Then Walsall, this is where, I mean, if you're kind of new to the series as well, because I know we've got a number of new people, the views have gone up in the past week or so, so I might re-explain a few things. But our best striker, John Byrne, broke his foot. And we don't really have a, re we have a replacement now. He's going to start today. So that's another exciting new story. But he wasn't in place by this Walsall match. And that's where we really kind of were missing him. Uh, we, we just don't have any striking capability. So our goal potential, our goal output has gone down considerably since he's gotten hurt. We ended up drawing that one, nothing, nothing. We talked about the Newcastle match. Chesterfield, we beat one to nothing. Our, and again, our defense playing really well. Grimsby Town was a comfortable two to one win. They scored late, but the matter. Then we lost to Wickham one to nothing. I think. Uh, yeah, we outshot them 18 to 12. Just another kind of a goofy match. We lost on an own goal in the 69th minute. But ah, that stuff, I guess it's going to happen. Then a nice comfortable win against Cambridge United. I think we outshot them here. Oh, 18 to 6. Yeah, there was one match in here. Maybe it was a Chesterfield match. There it was. 20 shots to one shot. So again, switching to that 4-1-2-3 formation and a 4-3-3 at home against weaker teams has really helped solidify our defense. Then we came up against uh, Bolton, and we beat them one. And so enough wins in here. And the nice thing about this, the thing that's keeping us in it, is that the teams around us aren't doing all that well either. So, you know, last year we had Aldershot Town that just kind of ran away with things and chased us all the way to the end. Year before that, we had Salt Shields that chased us all the way to the end. We've got one club pulling the way, but because there's three promotion spots and four more playoff spots, we're kind of in the thick of things here. So if we take a look at the, the table here, it's gotten 
extremely interesting. Oh, this is second half. We want overall. We sit in fifth place, but but even better, we still have that match in hand. That's the match we're playing today against Rochdale. So if we could pick up three points today, that would give us 59 points, put us even with Tranmere and only one point behind the automatic promotion spot. I mean, it's been nuts. If you look at our second half form here, since we've switched to that, we're playing now in third place, 23 points still with a match in hand. So conceivably playing at a first place rate. But look at our goals against. Only three goals against so far in the last 10 matches. Uh, it's just really been the defense that's kind of hold things together for us. And because, again, all of these teams around us aren't really doing all that much, we've been able to climb up here. Now, the, the part that's, that's exciting about this is that, you know, we could conceivably win a couple matches and drift up here. We could conceivably lose a couple matches and drift all the way down here. I mean, there is a pack of teams all the way down to 12th place as 50 points, only six points behind us, and still with 13 and 12 matches left to go. This is anybody's race. It's, it's going to be a dogfight to the end. It should be really exciting, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the season kind of goes forward here. But every point's important, so this every point is important. So this Rochdale match is definitely a big one for us here. I do want to share that we were mentioning they're trying to get in. I was scrambling to get in a new striker because of the injury to John Burns' leg. And we did have some success here. And he will start his first match of the day, first match this year. Jake Scrimshaw joins us. He's going to be up front playing a poaching role. Super excited to bring him in as we looked before. Finishing a 14, composure of 15, technique of 10. He's got some pretty decent heading ability, which the rest of our team doesn't seem to have here. So a big day for Jake. I'm hopeful that he can be our savior and kind of rejuvenate our offense until John Burns' foot heals up here. And then our other signing, uh, Iker Pol so uh, promptly got himself hurt. So he's kind of rejuvenating, uh, kind of getting better from that. But looking forward to bring him in. We did send out some players. So we got a couple of new players in. That should hopefully carry us, our, carry us the rest of the way. Our budget is tapped out. So I don't think I can afford to bring anybody else in. And speaking of injuries, Adam Phillips. Yes, let's talk a little bit about Adam Phillips. Now... Our scouts, after he's been here for three months now, now we finally get the little injury proneness icon here. A little bit late than, than useful here because this wasn't on him when we first signed him. And if we look at his injury history, we're going to need to start scrolling through it at the rate he's getting hurt. Look at this stuff. I mean, this has been the last, what, 2022? He's, it's like he's playing in... World War II or something like that. It's just nuts. So he joined us. He promptly got a sports hernia and was out for five weeks. We finally got him back in shape. His first match back, he twists his knees out for four more days, but that involves some more rehab. We finally get him back. He starts playing a few matches. He's actually doing really, really well, and he gets his second sports hernia of the season now. So he's out still for three weeks now. He's got another couple weeks to go. Really like to get him back. He's a good midfielder if he isn't just broken all the time but <clears throat> not really sure what's going on with our physiotherapist here because our physio supposedly is physiotherapy physiotherapy 17 but apparently he doesn't know enough to just do this to click and say history injuries and you could see there's a problem here you don't have to be a brain scientist a neurosurgeon to figure out that this guy is injury prone. So note to self, always check the injury list before you sign expensive free agents because he's pretty much just been sucking up our medical bandages and stuff like that without really contributing much here. But hopefully we can get a run from him before the end of the season. I think that's about it that I wanted to mention. Uh, we'll jump right into the match today against against Rochdale, who sits, I believe they're mid-table, yeah, 15th, and we do have them at home here. So it could be a good match for us. We will go with our 4-3 three formation which is a little bit more I like to play this against weaker teams at home it's been doing really well defensively we've had a ton of matches two matches a week for pretty much the last three weeks and another week to go here so just kind of rotating people in and out as best we can a lot of people trying to rest them today Baron and Sona uh, and Naya will rest today that's going to give Scrimshaw a start so we may bring some of them in off the bench but I'm trying to minimize the number of players we've got in here at this high injury risk because God knows we're getting enough injuries already without having to, to risk more players but let's see anything of note Chaz Isaac will start he has been our hero in the first three seasons uh, Anya Kirby by far our best player has played really Really, really well. He will start at central midfielder in that attack role. Still banging in the goals now that we've shifted his uh, uh, role to a central midfielder attack. And then Scrimshaw getting his start. Robinson on the left. And one of our new acquisitions in December, uh, Mr. Josh Martin. Man, by the way, by the way, Josh Martin's been with us about a month. And his determination has gone from a two to a three. 
<laughs> he is waking up with less alarm clocks now. So let's get this started. I think we're all set. We've got fixtures here. Match preview. These are makeup matches. That's why there's only a couple of matches here. We are favorite, although, oh, check this out. They've won four of their last five and drawn the other one. So Rochdale making a climb up here. Makes me think that maybe we need a different formation. But now let's go with this. It's a little bit late to switch now. I like everything we see here. Let's submit the team and let's get this started. Thumbs up that we can get some points here. Let's go to the dressing room tactics. We'll just ask our assistant here. Let's press. Ooh, they're using a rather defensive formation here, aren't they? 4-2, yeah. So it looks like this, I think the 4-3-3 makes sense there. We'll see though. Ooh, the recent forms standings have Rochdale in first place. Hmm, okay, let's not mention that. That would be a little bit of a mistake let's see what you can do to keep this run going there's a lot more to come from you and i believe you've got what it takes we'll do that and let's get this started we will end the team talk and here we go we are in our home blues and whites starting on the left and moving to the right rochdale is in their drab gray uniforms They're pressing us early here Oof. bah <laughs> that's a funny name bah bah Kicks it out for a corner. They are threatening early. High header. Martin picks it up. Where is it? Yes. Where's us? Ah, oh, I should have got a highlight out of that. I can't, sorry, I have to stop that. I'm going to try to not say that 20 times this match, but it's kind of, it is a funny name. Nice. Scrimshaw dishes it out to Martin. Shoot. Oh, we're up early. A dream start. Scrimshaw, four minutes, picks up his first assist. Let's praise him. Scrimshaw, Josh Martin, confirm shout. Gosh, that's nice. In the rain, Martin goes right by him. Boy, that's a look of a determination of three. Yeah, he knew it was in. Fantastic. Okay, one shot, one goal. Can't beat that. Maxwell. Okay, Stewart. Bonner. Robinson. Play inverted winger. Feeds Martin again on the left. Starting off to a brilliant start. Feeds it in. Oh, we're up again, Martin to Robinson. Ah, oh, the fireworks are going now. I can't even praise again. My voice is worn out, apparently. I'll, I'll let the highlight go. Wow, oh, that was a nice cross. Tease it up. Robinson bangs it in. The Robinson's got good heading, too, which is really nice. Let's just praise everybody. No reaction? I guess we're just pretty chill here. Stewart. Dixon Bonner. This looks like a replay of the last one. Martin out wide. It's this. It's the same thing over and over here. What was his name? Of Booth. This is looking pretty good. This is one of our better starts. Robinson. Oh, almost sneaks it in. We used to have an, a coaching youth soccer. We used to use soccer here in the U.S. But coaching youth football, we always would say two to nothing. Next goal wins. So hopefully we can get the next one here. Let's go, Martin, because if you get that third goal in a two-to-one match, you're right back in it, and the momentum's all yours. Wow, Martin's going to buy him. Oh, Robinson almost with the brace. It'd be nice to get the third one early here and maybe just start to see their psychology crumbling right through and over the box here. We got one player on their team overwhelmed. That's good, but I'm liking this so far. Dare I demand? I feel like demanding more would be a little bit rude. Free kick. Ooh, Thompson. Almost puts it in. Six shots to nothing. Looking pretty good. And their right back is exhausted. Only 28 minutes in. So maybe we can go down the left. Maybe that's why we have been going down the left. Scrimshaw with the nice tap to eyes. He's going to score. Watch this. Oh, maybe not. He has good long shots. Uh-oh. Nice. Isaac, for the old guy, runs by their teammate. Dixon Bonner. Isaac. Modgers. Oh, <laughs> It's like a highlight reel in itself. Gosh, we look good. This game is so much fun. It's like the best game in the world when this happens. It's like, and then you're like, I'm sure the next game we're going to have 30 shots and we're going to lose one to nothing and I'm going to hate the game again. But right now, it's like, where is party time? We need beverages. Rogers to Shez Isaac. Let's praise him. Rogers. Shez Isaac. Confirm shout. Looking pretty good. They're tired. They're inspired by the feedback. Their coach, their manager said something here. Looks like they've changed their approach and are playing with more discipline. 
Might be a good idea here. Okay. Gosh. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> Having a really good time here. Team talk. Uh, don't get complacent. Yep. Oh, lose confidence. No, no, no. You're okay. Calm down here. There's a lot more to come from you. There you go. Now you're motivated. Such simple digital people. There's a lot more to come from you, and I believe you've got what it takes. A lot more to come from you. This would be a nice win. I mean, okay. This would, I said would, so I'm not jinxing it, but it would be nice. It'd be nice for us to get three points here. I'd like to get another one here. Robinson down the left hand side. Boy, our wings have looked good today, and they've been kind of a. Oh! <laughs> we. You know, so a funny, a funny thing, just to share a quick story here. Uh, I recorded last night, I recorded the whole Bolton game, which was a really fun match. We scored in the 72nd, 72nd minute to get a one to nothing win and stuff. Um, I'm going to pause it here and praise, who was that, Dixon Bonner? And just so I, I, I want I feel bad if I don't praise them after they score. But so to go back to that story. It was a really good match. It was a really fun episode. It was really good. And, I was, and then I realized at the end of it, after I stopped it, I had my mic on mute. It's on now. Mute. And so no audio for the whole thing. So I was like, ah, it's kind of frustrating because it was a fun match and stuff too. But uh, this is fun in its own way too. So it's almost like I'm kind of glad that, oh, wow, this is, this will work. So I feel like it would be a good idea to start thinking about substitutions here. Where, I haven't seen Bah for a while. I, I should be, can I, I want to say that at least three times. I'm going to try to, I think overdoing it would be annoying it. Pet. <laughs> Maybe they have a pet who says Bah. But I feel like I should be able to say it at least three times because otherwise <clears throat> you wouldn't be taking advantage of the opportunity here. We're zipping it around again. Martin's done well. We'll check substitutions at 70 minutes here. Uh-oh. They're threatening. Pops it over. That looked like one of the headers from before they updated the match engine. That went pretty high there. Uh, let's take a look at substitutions. But anyway, yeah, to go back to that whole leaving the mic on mute, I always do a test right before I record. Right before, and then I did that last night, and then the doorbell rang. It was our daughter coming home. And I think I'm going to substitute... Kirby out to give him some rest so maybe he can play the next match because up four to nothing I feel like if yeah and Kundal's good too he can he can do this anybody else we want to Scrimshaw should probably anybody else uh, that's good for now I'd like to see if Scrimshaw can get a goal and I can play the next match too but uh, yeah so I, I always do a test right before um, I shoot just automatic I always test the the microphone make sure everything's going and just create a, a quick recording to just check the game sound and stuff so i did that the doorbell rang it was a daughter in on i turned the mic off when i did that ran back in and started recording right away and then i completely forgot to turn the mic back on so that's the first time i've done that let's make another substitution here to give people some rest sona is he tired or stressed or anything we could play Richard Slater, the 15-year-old who only plays Nintendo on the end of the bench, and he's just there because of the stupid rule. Hmm. Dare I do that? That would be kind of fun. Uh, you know, actually, I'm going to just let everybody rest. We'll just let this play out. I am tempted to put Slater in for just a minute. Let's do it. Oh, but O'Brien actually can get a clean sheet record if he gets this match. I think it would... Oh, sub exhausted. Who? Andrew Robinson, quick sub. I never used this screen, so I'm a little bit lost here. Left winger, we'll bring in Ryan Clark. 60, yeah, 64%. The last thing we want is someone there to get hurt. So wait, I got a book covering this. Confirm. Sorry for the technical difficulties here. Let's do that. That whole minute of rest is going to save him here too. Isaac steals. He didn't even get in, did he? Nice! All right! Did... Yeah, he didn't. Uh, yeah, he did. So Andrew Robinson came off. So, well, there we go. Seventeen shots to seven. Nine shots on target. We were precise. In the end, they kind of the shot differential wasn't all that huge, but wow, possession. That was a solid win. Nothing. No, no two ways about it. That felt good. That was fun. Let's uh, do our team talk. Very pleased with the results and your performance. Let's praise the green people. 
Rogers, Oshi, Laja, Thompson. Wow, this, this is long. This is going to take a while here. Sorry, lots of clicking here. Dixon Bonner, Josh Martin. Oh, my goodness. This might have been our best game of the season so far. Gosh, this is nuts. Everybody played well. Let's get that morale up and let's continue on. Let's see how we did. Oh, so we jumped to play. Oh, because we won four to nothing, we jumped ahead of Tranmere on goal differential. So oh, it's getting crazy. This is going to be a fun finish. So 12 matches left to go. We are one point out of the automatic promotion spot, chasing two teams. I don't imagine we could ever catch Gillingham. They are so far in front, 11 matches, 11 points in front. They're playing really well. They've only lost four matches. I mean, no chance here. But... Burton Halby and South End, they could, things in your rearview mirror are closer than they appear. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And the exciting, it even gets more exciting about this too, which is going to be really fun, is we play South End, who's above us in two matches. We play Gillingham in first place in four matches. We play Tranmere, who's right tied with us with points. And we play Burton Albion. So in the next 10 matches, looks like eight matches. What is this? My math was good. Next eight matches, we play all of these four teams here. So Gillingham, Burton Albion, Southend, and Tram Tranmere. So it's going to be a wild finish. This should be really, really good. Uh, let's, let's wrap this up here. Thank you again, everybody, for coming by. If you are new to the channel, please, again, consider giving a thumbs up and subscribe subscribing and uh appreciate the comments as well um, it's been great fun and it's uh it's actually kind of it's been really fun to see uh, you know i was used to be really happy when a video would get 10 views and now some of them are getting like 30 and it's like wow that's that's that feels like a lot of people to me i realize it's probably not a lot in the youtube world but uh, it feels like um things have been picking up a little bit so it's been really fun thanks again for coming by i hope you have a great day we'll see you again on Friday for our next episode. Probably come back for the Tranmere match again. I'd like to see if we could get some revenge for that 2 to nothing loss. We'll play them on a road. It'll be trickier, but I want to try out that 4-1-2-3 against them and see if we can, we can extract revenge, a dish served best cold. Thanks again. Have a great day, everybody. See you later. Bye.